All right, so here we have a Waterman 12. Uh, this one is in uh, really nice red modeled hard rubber. It's one of Waterman's earlier pens. It's an eyedropper pen. Um, really no filling system. You just fill the body of the pen with ink using an eyedropper of some sort or a syringe. Um, this one, like I said, is in red model hard rubber. It's in really nice shape. It has the original uh, Waterman's clip cap uh, clip on it, which is uh, definitely more rare. Um, this one's really nice and tight, nice original rivets on it, um, and in, in very good shape. And a nice shiny ball on it that's secure, nothing loose there, anything like that. This pen is in really nice shape. Um, really nice rubber, very, very little oxidation, if any, um, as you can see here, which for, you know, these, like I said, they're earlier Waterman's pens, so this pen is probably from the, uh, the teens, maybe even uh, the, the tens. Um, beautiful rubber, really nice shape. As you can see, it's got pretty pretty visible imprints. Considering a lot of these are are seriously worn off, these are in this pen's imprints are in good shape. Um, there's a cl very clear twelve on the bottom with uh, original red marking in it, which is just spectacular, amazing. Um, I really like that. Um, but the most exciting thing about this pen is, of course, the nib. This is one of the softest Waterman nibs that I've ever seen. I know it seems like every pen I post up recently has been just getting better and better nib-wise. This one is something else. Spectacular, soft flex. Look at how thin the metal is on that amazing extra fine nib um, that just writes unbelievably well really 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 impressive flex um, this is an expert pen somebody with a really really you know you need to have a skilled hand to write with a pen like this so i'm going to do a little uh demonstration with her show you just how nice she writes um filling a an eyedropper is a little bit different. I have chosen this ink, Pelican Edelstein Topaz. It's very similar to Erosha Zuku Konpeki. I'm going to use this. So what you do with an ink like this is you get a syringe. I got this from the Goulet Pen Company. They're super cheap and useful for other things as well, in the, like, like uh, cleaning pens and whatnot. I'm going to fill this up in a second, but what you also need is this. Also got from the Glade Pen Company. This is grease for the section. Helps it to seal. Uh, so I'm going to remove the section here. It's actually already some grease on it. I can tell by how tightly these threads are fitting together. We're unscrewing right now. Just take my pinky, dab a bit of grease on there, and then just roll the threads of the section into it wipe my pinky off quick so I'll put the section down for a minute I'll take up a little ink here and a syringe take the barrel fill it up with some ink And then you screw the section on. It's that simple. These pens hold far more than most lever fillers do. At least, you know, size to size comparison wise. A 12 will hold more ink than a 52 does. I'll give you an idea. And she's full. stuff to the side for now. 
Again, the, the 12 is a, a decent sized pen, a little bit thinner um, as the, all the older pens kind of were, but um, they're, they're definitely decent size. Let's see. What do I have in here? Here it is in comparison to a, fifth, a Waterman's 52. So a bit thinner, about the same length. The 52 is maybe a very little bit longer. All right. I'm not even going to post this. It's rather comfortable in my hand without it. One thing about... Um, Filling an eyedropper is you don't fill it through the nib, so it does take a minute for some ink to come down through the section to the nib. See some coming here. There it is. And we're in action. All right. Sorry, a oh, bit of hair in there, it looks like. There it is. Unbelievably soft. This is a one in 1,000 nib, I mean, uh, unbelievable. But stiff enough that you can still write normally with it. I mean, it's just the right amount of softness. Um, it's actually a really nice normal writer. As I said, I know it seems like every nib that I've been posting up recently is getting better and better and better, but um, I just really have been have been getting lucky with these nibs that I've been getting in. This this one is unbelievable. So awesome. Nice and smooth too.
It's an absolute paintbrush. That flow. Wow, this nib something else really, really nice and in an absolutely gorgeous pen. You know, this, this, uh, the rubber on this pen is in, in awesome, awesome shape. And, uh, you know, the red, the red model hard rubber is, in my opinion, the most beautiful material that Waterman ever made. And it's an earlier material, which is really cool. And it's an eyedropper, which means it holds a ton of ink. So you can write for a long, long time. But I mean, that, look, look at those. That about says it all right there. So uh, thank you for watching. I have a couple more coming up of a real nice wet noodle wall pen um, that I'm going to be posting soon as well. Um, so stay tuned for that. This pen will be on eBay uh, very soon after this video comes up. So check out the listing if you're interested in purchasing it. Um, if not, I will see you next time. Again, thank you for watching.